What's up guys, this is Kurz, and I'm bringing you my first tutorial today. Don't know why this isn't minimizing. So we have the little text bubble and speech with the scribble effect here, which is what I'm going to be showing you. And open up After Effects. Import your clip and bring it down to the project comp one over here. And also import your speech bubble, which I'll have the link in the description for you. And then just drag that over here. Alright, you can make it bigger, smaller, however you want. Doesn't matter. Alright, so click this little pen tool here and go around your speech bubble. I'm just going to go fast to help out your, this in your tutorial to go faster. So after that, go to Effect, Generate, uh, where is it? Scribble. That'll give you a nice little scribble. So now go to the beginning of where you want your speech bubble to start and make sure you click on speech bubble, go to control shift D and then now delete this little bottom one here and now scroll to the end and do control shift D again. And there you go. You got your speech bubble. But what you're going to want is a little fade into it. So go over here to effects and presets and type in linear white and that will show up under transitions and just drop that onto your speech bubble so now click this go underneath there go to effects linear wipe and you're gonna need to make two keyframes before you do that you need to change the wipe angle to negative 90 degrees I believe it starts off on 60 if you're doing this for the first time so just change that to negative 90 and you'll be good. Now I'll go next to transit and click the little clock button here so that way you can have a keyframe at the beginning of course and change that all the way to 100%. Now go down a few frames and change that back to 0%. And that will give that a nice little scroll effect into the speech bubble. Now that you're done with your speech bubble go to this little T here just click that and click over by your speech bubble and then just type in whatever you want I'm gonna type in curves because that's what I go by now click this little uh, arrow button and just move the text where you want uh, you can click over here the little T here and change it up or down to change the size I'm just going to leave it right there. Um, now for the text, you're going to want to go to the beginning of where the bubble starts and go to Control shift d again and do the same thing for your text layer. Uh, go to the end and oh, make sure you clicked on the text or else it will not work. Control shift d Delete that top one and there you go. So you have your text but it's showing up before the speech bubble. So what you're going to do is type in typewriter over in effects and presets. And it's under animate in. So drag that onto your text. And what you want to do is go under the text that you have. Go to a text, animator 1, and what you want to do is when the bubble starts coming in and your first letter is there it's going to come in slower than you think so now that's right there there's going to be a little arrow oh um, my bad there's going to be a little arrow there so zoom and then they're going to drag that there you're good scroll down a little more um, have that come in the next letter scroll a little more with the speech bubble have the next letter come in and just repeat the process as you see click the little red arrow drag it and you're good so now you have a nice text bubble with the little scribble effect coming in nice with the speech bubble and that is all really easy tutorial uh, you can get whatever font there's some cool fonts out there just go download some if you guys have any questions please ask me comment Private message me, I'll be gladly to help. 
Uh, if you have any tutorials you want me to do, let me know. I will do it for you. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned because I will be doing much more tutorials in the future.